Okay, doing a second video today. The first one was the battery video, which you can see here. I'm going to install a uh, Scorpio security system. Now, I started thinking about this. When I bought my bike, I got it stock. It was a 107 in stock. Now it's the equivalent of a 114, but I put well over 20K into this, and I'll never get the value back for this bike if it's stolen. I mean, I have extra coverage on my Geico, but I got to look into to getting more because if this is stolen, I'll never get close to what what I have into it. So that being said, I'll put a security system in it with a proximity alarm. Maybe it'll help. If they really want the bike, they can get it, but a little peace of mind. So anyway, what I'm going to do is put the security system into my bike. Well, we took the battery out so I could run the wires. And uh, that's about it. So let's look at the Scorpio Moto Security. Now, I haven't seen one video on this on, uh, on YouTube. So hopefully I can help somebody else out. Watch as I make mistakes and learn from them. Roll the intro. This is what comes down. I hooked it all up together just to see how it looks. When you install it, you don't want to have everything connected. So you don't want it to go off prematurely and uh, have the cutoff enabled plus the proximity alarm. You don't want that. Plus it freaks my dog out. So here's the module here, RFID antenna. I don't know what this is yet. This is the proximity alarm. These are all the parts. This is the remote control, which I will charge right now. And here's the wiring. Seems pretty simple. Here's the uh, positive negative cable for the battery. Has a little fuse. And pretty much everything is all in a couple of units here. So I'm gonna figure out where to mount this. This is the proximity alarm. It's very sensitive from what I hear. Here's the uh, positive negative cable for the battery. Has a little fuse. And pretty much everything is all in a couple of units here. So I'm gonna figure out where to mount this. this. This is the proximity alarm, very sensitive. We're gonna test all that out without freaking my dog out. And let's get to work. Oh, it comes with two pages of instructions. I'm trying to crystal clear. And that should about do it. Let's mess things up. All right, this also comes with a um, anti-hijack uh, ignition disable option. I have to hook this up to the fuel line. Uh, the cables come from the fuel injector. Whatever. I'm not doing this. I, I just I could foresee problems riding and thinking that uh, th this for some reason this goes bad, the wiring, whatever happens, I can't ride my bike. And although it's a nice feature to have, for right now I'm not installing it. So this is coming off. Um, I'm happy the way it is with the just the alarm and the proximity center and it notifies me and all that that's good enough it's loud that's all that matters uh, the anti-hijack is probably good but I, I for some reason just it's just making me think what if that goes bad and I can't ride my bike and I'm stuck somewhere I guess I could take it out in the field but I don't know I'm not installing it so otherwise what I'm starting to do here is now I got a lot of extra wires. This is a mess. These are the stock wires. These are all the custom dynamics, uh, the strobe, all the other stuff. I got to all stick back under here. It's a lot of crap to put under here. So what I did was, this is the module again, and I ran the wires that plug into this module through this hole here, and I'm going to feed it into under here. And I'm going to take this, hook it up, and I'm going to Velcro this up underneath the battery here, uh, the the um, frame here, away from the battery. So this way I got I don't have a bunch of junk sitting on top of the battery. This will go there. I'm going to put the custom dynamics below that and then wire it up. So let's try that out. You don't need to see me actually physically do that. I'll show you where it's done. All right. 
just to show you anyway, I, I ran it on through here, clipped them on, they clip right on, it's nice. I'm gonna mount this under here now and feed the wires back through. Okay, that should fit, hopefully not at the fear. Get some velcro on the back of this, see how it works. Probably should do is put the backing on there first and then slip the module on. But maybe you guys could do that and learn from one of my mistakes. Again, I am no expert. I just like to work on my bike and learn. Best way to learn is learn from mistakes. So if this turns out to be a mistake, I have extra velcro on hand. Put this back in there, see what happens. Again, this doesn't have to be you know, crazy, uh, it's just hold it in place. The battery's gonna hold it in place. So even if for some reason this Velcro doesn't stick, it's not going anywhere, but you saw the battery against this, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay. Okay, lucky I decided to do this. I found a broken wire, had to resolder everything. So for what seemed like seconds to you, it took me half an hour. So I resoldered that connection. Basically, I found a blue wire that I have to you have to play off of. You have to find out which one that is. It's it's for the uh, reverse. Uh, it's, not, it's for the brake line. So I posi tapped into that. Basically, you just find a hole, find a wire, put the black piece in there, screw the red one on there, unhook this, so it makes it easier to tighten down here. So just basically, tighten that down and screw this one in. You're not sure where the blue wire is from the brakes. <laughs> Dirty air fast stuff hooked up to it, so it was easy for me to find. But initially, it's the blue wire that comes into your uh, brake module here. So just tighten that up. Good to go. Hook this back up into here. Like so. That's good. All I got to do now is do the uh, positive and negative. Sorry. I'm not sure about that. For some reason, Alexa decided to talk just now. So now, all that's left is the positive and a negative to the battery, and this should be good to go. Your final notes on the uh, Scorpio. Very easy install. The only hard part you might have, if you've never done it before, is tapping into the right wire for the uh, switch power. That's it. It's easy. Very easy. I just got to put everything in the right place. Basically, I just got to put the, uh, the RFID back in there and the, and the uh, proximity sensor, which I have down here. That's got to rest on top. And that's pretty much it. Close everything up and put everything up and I'll do a quick test of the uh, sensor and make sure everything works. Hope this helps. Any questions, put it in the comments. Be right back. <clears throat> All right, see it's back together, alarms on. Uh, this little controller here controls it. Uh, what's nice about it is if I like, say I'm on vacation, I'm traveling, whatever, it's out front. If somebody messes with it, the sensor goes off. I'm not sure the range. I'll have to look that up. I'll put it in the comments if I figure it out. Uh, so besides the, the loud ass alarm that it is, my dog's hiding in the backyard right now. Uh, you can put the perimeter sensor on or off. It also also has a tilt sensor. It has ignition cutoff that I didn't install, which we talked about earlier. Um, shock sensor, all that. It's pretty pretty damn good alarm. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick. I'll test it out real quick. Oh, I forgot to show you one thing. The uh, handbook that comes with it. I'm sure there's videos online too, but it, it's pretty good. It goes over everything and it shows you all the different settings. So again, I highly recommend this. Don't leave home without it. So I put the remote and the keys in the mailbox. Let's try it now. Yeah. 
loud. Hell loud. Wow. Okay, at least it went off and I walked away. So that's good if anybody's messing with it. It'll go off and it won't ring all night. I'll keep playing with the uh, controls. It's kind of cool, great investment, I think. Obviously it works and it's loud. So if you're traveling or even just parking somewhere and you're worried about somebody taking your bike, I think it's a great, great investment. Easy install, if you get stuck, ask, I'll, uh, I'll answer your questions. Hit the like and subscribe, hit the like and subscribe please. And see you on the next video, which is hopefully the headlights, they're all in. See you next time, ride safe.